was good, my peoples. Please, please, please follow my socials. They tag down below. Also in the description box, all right? If you got any question about these shoes or any other shoes that I review on my channel, y'all can hit me up over there. We can chop it up, all right? Other than that, my, my first channel was deleted at 15,000. Second channel at 1,500. So let's run it up. Get these um, subscribers popping. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Hit all them buttons, man. They free, you heard? Promise y'all. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. All right, y'all, without no further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, this right here is gonna be a real versus fake with the Union Jordan 1s, the the um, beauty supply joints, the Summer 96, the whatever they call them, right? They both are size 10. As you can see, the boxes are the same size, and the boxes look pretty accurate, I ain't gonna lie. But this, this like I said, this is the real one, this is the fake one. This is more of a bright yellow. This is more of a darker one. You can see it right here in the corner. From corner to corner. Let me turn it around. Boom. You can see it. You know what I'm saying? You can see this a little clearer. A lot brighter than this one. So, you know, things like that. I think even the orange might be a little bit different. All right, let me see how this side's looking. That side's looking pretty accurate. It's crazy because... um. Like I said, these, these fake joints came out a little while ago, so I don't know how they get it right before the sneakers even come out. But that's another whole conversation for a whole other day. All right, the retailer's on top. I'm trying to look at both of these tags. Um, Y'all could pause it and see if there's any discrepancies or anything like that. I don't really like to get into all of that. I just look real quick to see if I see something real quick, and if not, I keep it pushing. But I don't really see nothing, all right? Color code. All right, everything looking the same. All right, so um, we went over the box. Let's get into it now. Boom, inside the box, they both got that sticker. Once again, I'm gonna show you one by one. Uh, this one is a little lighter gray, and we got a stamp on top of the box. This one's a little darker gray. You can see it. I can't put it side by side, unfortunately, because my camera is not gonna it's the best I could do like this. Boom. All right, so hopefully that helps y'all. Just little things, little things, little things. All right, now let's get into the paper. The paper, you can see a clear difference. That alone right there should, if you if you buy in a pair in the aftermarket and the paper is dark like that, it's not super clear like this, like an HD photo, and you got scanned, you feel me? Go get your money back. Or don't even make the deal. Now what they can do is give you a fake sneaker with all this real stuff. Alright, so this is just one, you know, one part of the joint. Then we got to get to the actual sneakers. So we can look for discrepancies and uh, we can go from there. The laces, right, they come. Let me zoom in. The laces come in this box right here. The retail, the cardboard is like super cheap, flimsy, right? Kind of like looks like it could open up right away. This, this um, this cardboard. Excuse me, my fault. This cardboard is a little thicker and it looks more sturdier, but nonetheless they are different. And right here on the back, you see the jump man. You see the move to zero. You see all this writing and all this stuff on the fake pair. You can't really see none of that. All right. So keep that in mind. The front. You can see the shoelaces. This one, you can barely see it, all right? So that's just something else too to keep an eye on. Now let's get to the actual shoes. I don't wanna make this video too long, but sometimes you have to. Sometimes you really gotta go into detail. If you watched my previous video, I showed y'all that this retail has the YCM sticker. Boom. Now let's get to these. This does not have the YCM sticker. It does not have it. Like I said, they could always switch out the boxes, but don't only go by that. Sometimes people, they're just trying to get over on you and they don't even go the extra mile. So I'm just telling y'all, you know, certain things. Oh, one thing too, these came unlaced. So just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna lace them up so we can look to see, uh, you know, if there's any difference. I laced them up. 
So let's take a look how they look. First off, we're gonna look at the back heel and the hourglass shape on both of them seems pretty good. Seems pretty accurate. Um, we could sit here for like a minute and try to dissect certain things and some of them could be just differences from pair to pair variations, right? What I like to focus on is stuff that's not gonna vary. Things like the midsole stitching. You see how the retail is like boom, 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 nice and tight back to back. And these right here is like looser. Always um, on Jordan 1s, if you want to take a look, make sure your joints is real. Make sure the stitching is nice and tight in a lot of them. Over here, it's going to be less stitching. It's hard to tell if you only got the one pair in front of you and you're trying to decipher or trying to decide whether your joint is real or not. But you can clearly see when it's side by side, the difference between the laces. Also, the color of the lace is different. This is darker. This kind of blends in with the midsole. This one doesn't, all right? So keep that in mind. If you bind a pair... That's, that's things that, you know, it's not going to vary. So that alone right there, the color of the stitching, that will help you out. Um, this portion of the thing right here, it feels the same. This actually feels like a softer material. This feels a little rougher. The leather feels the same. It looks the same. And they both tumbled. You got that B, I don't know if that's an LS. And BLS, it looks kind of different. This is like smoother, thinner just goes with the flow this is like kind of like a bold font this is a thin font feel me you understand what i'm saying you dig and I mean, this patch right here just the size of it yeah it's a different square that could vary so i'm not gonna focus too much on that right then you got this material up here the retail feels softer they look the same but the retail feels softer maybe the hairs are a little longer who knows but yeah, the retail feels a little, little, little bit softer. What I can say too is that this stitching right here is looks like it's shorter than this. Also, looks like it's kind of like a might have been a different color green. Maybe, maybe it's a little darker on the on the fake pair. Y'all can let me know if I'm tripping. But um, then we come around to the swoosh. You can see the stitching is a lot neater on the on the retail. It's a lot neater. It just flows. It's kind of like. I don't know, it kind of looks like it got holes in it a little bit, but I've seen retail pairs like that too. So that's not a legit check-in tool. Uh, like I said, we like to focus on things that's not gonna vary. All right, we got the wing logo, Union LA tag. This one looks a little small, looks like small and longer. This one looks like it comes out a little more. So that, that could be something you could use for legit check-in. The actual wing logo, you, um, you know, there's a difference in that too as well. Um, I'm trying to be clear with it. Um, it's hard to, I mean, y'all could look at it and see the difference, right? I can't really put it in words, but it looks a little different. You can see the air. Joy in a little better. I mean, you know, the R and the D do touch on both of them. You got the T and the M. Just the T, the T and the M. You can see it looks a lot more clear on the fake than the real. Than the real, kind of like blurry a little bit. And even the white is kind of like it's fuzzy. This is like too sharp, too clear. So keep that in mind. Um, what else? What else? Yellow piping. Yellow piping. They did. Pretty good, but I think it's brighter yellow. Pretty good, yeah. This one looks more orangey. This one looks more yellow. So that right there will help you out. That's not gonna vary either. So that's a very good legit checking tool. Then we got let's go to the Nike on the tongue. This one is kind of um this tag is obviously bigger than that one. And this Nike it's kind of cut off right there. This one's not, but that could vary too. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, I think the tongue color is pretty accurate, but it's not 100%. It's more like a um, sail. This is a little lighter in the color. If y'all can see it, cool. If not, you know, I apologize. On camera. The way that the this thing flows... Flow is pretty accurate. You got the little puff out part right here, puff out part. 
that looks pretty good not gonna lie and like i said if i miss anything y'all please let me know we both got suede on the on the swoosh um this suede feels actually a little softer on this one so i guess different parts of suede is gonna feel differently so you know what i mean don't don't take too much stock in that when you trying to legit trying to legit check your pair you got that same like v shape on the back this one got like a little bagginess right here on the sock liner this one doesn't so keep that in mind too it shouldn't have no bagginess on it and these are just the nows these came out a while ago so imagine you know when they update them what i can say too is this pair is wider like it should be like this pair is like nice and tight this one looks kind of like well, I don't got the shoe tree in there either. So that could be it. Let me get this pair. But still, even with the shoe tree, it just looks kind of flatter. This one got a better shape to it. This one just kind of seemed like it's, ah, you know, it's hard to explain, but it seems like it's flatter. It kind of moves around more. This one seems like it's protect your foot better. Just hold on to your foot. The shape of it will stay good and all that. So if y'all can see what I'm talking about, boom. I mean, they got a wide toe box, all right? This one got a nice slim. It comes to a point. This one kind of like flat, like a crocodile. All right, so there's a lot of differences. A lot of differences. But like I said, this is the early batch. They will come out with newer ones. So don't wait too long to get your get your pair. So you can make sure your pair is legit now. You don't want to wait. All right? and from the bird's eye view, you can clearly see the toe box looking different. Size of the holes are the same, and the tumble leather on there is the same, so that's not nothing different. And um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I mean, if you don't really got to go into any more detail than that. Maybe if they come out with an updated batch, I will do it again, but really no point. Also, looks pretty accurate. Stars, y'all can take a look at it. Stars always look different. These look, always look smaller on the fake and these look more detailed on the retail, all right? Boom. Check it out. But yeah, that's it for this video. Let me, matter of fact, let me put on the black light. See if, uh, see if we can see anything with that. Sometimes that's all it takes is a black light. And then you can see the difference very clearly. Um... All right, you see how the mint sole is glowing different? This one's like bright glowing, this one is not. So that is a difference right there. So you can take a black light and it will help you. Sometimes black lights do not help. In this case, it seems like it will. All right, and that's pretty much the only thing I see that's different. Is the mint sole. Because the union tag is glowing the same. The piping look like it's glowing the same, even though it's a different color, like we noticed before. Um, yeah, man, just that missile, and that's really it with the black light. So, hope that can help you out too. There's a couple ways you should be able to tell. I hope I was a little educational. I hope I helped y'all out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Show your boy some love. You heard? But you already know the vibes, man. I love y'all. Thanks for rocking with your boy. Oh, real quick, let me show y'all the toe box too, side by side. Thanks for rocking with your boy, you feel me? The love is real, you know I love y'all back, man. At the end of the day, rock what you like, not cause it's hype. Stand out and never blend in. Holla at me till next time, you heard? 100.